This is Dante Williams. Are you watching? Dante's. 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 Boxing Nation. This is Showtime Sean Porter. Filipino Flash, Jesse Burgess. This is Al Bernstein. You're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. I am sure we're ready to check Shane. Search over the last name, Morgan. Dante's. Dante's. Boxing Nation. Boom, 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 boom. Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from the Wilder. My name is Gennady Golovkin. And you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Hi, this is Julian Jackson, and this is Dante Boxing Nation. This is Julian Jackson, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Errol Spence. Yeah. You know, what do you think about Errol Spence, both of you guys? I want to um, get your take on his performance, knocking out Chris Algieri. Is he at the elite level? Is he ready for everybody at welterweight now, or what do you think? I, you know what? I, I just think, you know, I'm happy for him. He did, he did a good job on national TV, and got a great win you know you don't want to detract from that at all you know again that was one of my guys I took Errol to Russia I took Errol to Europe we went to Azerbaijan for the world championships together we trained together for a whole entire year so I'm happy that he's successful and he had a great fight that night but come on let's keep it real for a second here you know just like anybody else um, in boxing there's you know there's levels of competition and there's you know um, stepping your game up and stepping up to different type of fights not the same type of fighter so you know Chris wasn't really he wasn't really able to keep Errol off of him you know and so you know I think we need to see Errol in there with somebody that can actually stand up to him and see what happens in that situation. Is you ready for the big guys? Is you ready for them or do you need more season? How do you guys think? Every, every, everybody thinks they're ready and we won't know that until you get there. But again, you know, I mean, let's let, let me use a quick comparison, not to take anything away from Chris Algieri at all. Chris Algieri was not Pauli Malignaggi in his best days. He would be much lesser than Pauli Malignaggi. Competition-wise, as far as the guys he stepped up and fought, you know, he hasn't been successful in the guys when he stepped up to fight them. We could have looked at the Pro Provodnikov fight and said it got stopped early because Chris's eye was closed. They could have stopped that fight very easily. So if that doesn't happen, does he even get those other fights? He probably doesn't. And every fight since then, Pacquiao, uh, uh, Amir Khan, and now Errol Spence, he's, he's lost those fights. So, you know, it's not, you know, it's not a really a good measuring stick of a top level guy. It's not. So do you guys overlook him now? Because I know when Floyd said he should fight Thurman or he should fight Sean, everybody kind of overlooked him, oh he's not ready. Do you guys still feel that way about him or did he prove himself a little bit more than he was before? I don't know why should we look at him because Floyd said so. Come on man, Floyd's still running around here talking about Tank is the next Floyd. Floyd does a long way from the lip to the cup. I'm sure he don't understand what that means. But this little space right here to take this sip could be 100 years before you see another Floyd Mayweather Jr. That's props to him. But for you to let that come out of your mouth and put that on somebody else, not the right message you're sending to that guy. So, nah, you know, everybody got to take their steps and everybody will get to that point. And I'm sure that, you know, June 25th, after that fight's over, whoever wins that fight, they'll be saying, you know, is this person or that person ready for them? But I'm sure we're looking for bigger and better. I'm sure Keith is looking for bigger and better. Nobody's looking back. None of us are looking back at upcoming guys. We're looking at the guys that are right here with us right now. The Pacquiao's, the Tim Bradley's, you know, the, the, the top level guys that are here right now. What do you think, Sean? Yeah. I, I agree with that 100%. Uh, I, I think he looked very impressive against Algeria, but again, you know, Algeria has not, you know, been the guy that, you know, we saw when he fought providing the call fighting through a storm and, and winning that fight. So, uh, like, like my dad says, uh, it's a hard measuring stick to uh, put it up against when you look at Chris Algeria, but an impressive victory on, on, on Errol's part. Uh, but me as a fighter, like I was just telling somebody, I'm not a matchmaker, so y'all yeah, just tell me when I got to fight, who I'm fighting, and then that's what I, what I handle. So. Sean, he been in there, uh, you already been in there with Kell Brook, and now he's real close to being Kell Brook's mandatory. Mm -hmm. How does that fight play out? Uh, I, I think he beats Kell Brook. You know, I think that uh, he's, he's got everything that it takes, you know, he's a very good fighter, you know, and I'm not the one to judge whether or not he's ready. You know, only he can do that. Only his team can do that. So, they put him in the ring with uh, with Kill Brook. We'll see what happens. Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo! <laughs> hey. <Yeah. laughs>